Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Revised K-12 Curriculum Math Grade 2 Quarter 1 Lesson 2 Day 2 Our topic for today is about Composite Figures This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning Objectives Describe the change in the position of a basic shape or figure after a one-step slide or translation is performed. And draw the position of a basic shape or figure after a slide or translation is performed. Look at this illustration. Let's answer the following questions. What shapes are in the illustration? Answer, square, rectangle, triangle, circle, half circle, and quarter circle. In today's lesson, you will learn how to move these shapes around on a grid, exploring different ways to change their positions. Create two modified six-faced dice using the following commands written on each face, as shown in the image. Here's the image that you will use. You will be playing a game. Three pairs will compete in this game. Rules of the game The pairs will roll the die three times alternately. One player will roll the die while the other will move according to the command shown on the die. The pair that reaches the finish line first or is closest to the finish line after three rolls will be the winner. I need six volunteers to come to the front and form three pairs. The rest of the class, please observe carefully the movements your classmates will perform. Answer the following questions. What were the commands performed in the game? Answer. The answer will depend on the commands performed from rolling the die. What did you notice about the commands in the game? Answer, all commands involve movement with directions, forward or backward, and number of tiles to move. The players moved a certain distance, and this movement is called a slide or translation. Slides or translations involve moving the shape or object a certain distance in a specified direction. Let's answer the following questions. How far the players move? Answer, the players moved one tile or two tiles. Which directions the players move? Answer, the players move forward and backward. What do you call this drawing? These squares in the grid are called cells and they will use 
these cells for the movement of shapes or figures. Imagine this is a transparent square cut out with a hole in the upper left corner. Trace the square cut out and the circular hole in the center of the grid. Observe the movement of the square cut out. Slide the square cut out two cells to the left. Let's answer the following questions. How many cells did the square slide? In what direction did the square slide? Answer, the square slide two cells to the left. Slide and trace the square cut out two cells upward, then four cells to the right, and finally four cells downward. What movement occurred with the square? Answer, the square moved or slide two cells upward. Second, the square moved or slide four cells to the right. And third, the square moved or slide four cells downward. Imagine this is a transparent cutout of shapes with a hole. Trace the half circle cutout in the third row, third column of the grid. Make sure that the hole is traced as well. Slide the half circle two cells downward and trace it in its new position, ensuring the circle inside the half circle is also traced. Here's the expected drawing. Trace the quarter circle cut out in the second row first column. Slide the quarter circle four cells to the right, then trace it in its new position, ensuring to trace the hole. Here is the expected drawing. Activity number one, sliding of shapes and figures. Slide the figures according to the given distance and direction. Draw it in its new position. Number one, slide the triangle three cells downward. Answer. Number 2. Slide the rectangle two cells to the right. Answer. Number 3. Slide the circle three cells to the left. Answer. Number four, slide the triangle four cells upward. Answer. Number one. Trace the shape in its original position. Number 2. Count the number of cells the shape needs to move in the specified direction. Number 3. 
Number three, slide or move the shape to its new position without altering its appearance. Number four, trace the shape in its new position. Assessment number one, fill in the blanks with the number of cells and the direction of the slide performed by the shape. Number one is done as an example. Number one. The half circle slides two cells to the right. Number two, the quarter circle slides four cells to the right. Number three, the rectangle slides one cells upward number four the triangle slides three cells downward part two slide the figures according to the given distance and direction draw them in their new position Number one, slide the circle five cells to the right. Number two, slide the triangle six cells downward. And here's the answer. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.